Hello everybody and welcome back. I am here to do an unboxing for the Purple Eyed Color and Create from the new Rainbow High release. Um, it's been a while. Haven't had any new releases in a long, long time. So happy to have something drop. Not extremely excited about the Color and Create. I'm not a fan. Uh, but I did get the two that I thought were cute and that is the purple eyed and the brown eyed so um, let's take a look at the packaging for the purple eyed I already did a video on the brown eyed you can find that here if you have not seen it already uh, I did not get the blue eyed one I'm just not a fan I don't really love the clothes that they're doing and the hairstyles and just yeah not my faves so let's take a look at the packaging really quick this one does say watercolor and create it is not the same as the last one the last one came with markers uh these come with these little like spice shakers full of like a sparkly color so completely different color system it's supposed to be tie-dye I don't know if that's going to work. I'll probably do a separate video on trying to see if they actually color. So, uh, yeah. Front of the box, packaging is extremely boring. It's more focused on the gimmick than anything else. I think that absolutely destroys the aesthetic appeal of the packaging when compared to their older packaging it just absolutely obliterates the attractiveness and i don't even think it would appeal more to four-year-olds which is now their target market because there's so much going on there is so much going on there's text galore you have to be able to read to understand what it even is four-year-olds can't read i just don't see how this is better than you know, the old packaging, which was like, look, here's a picture. Here's the real thing. Like, this is what it is, which is obvious because you can see it. And this is just like text, 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 instructions, instructions, instructions. Like no four-year-old is going to be more drawn to this than the old packaging. I think it's awful. I think it's a horrible decision. And whoever's shot calling is making a huge mistake. I do packaging for a living and I think this is crap. So that being said, let's take a look at what it says. In three different languages, we have dip it, tie dye it, dab it, rinse and repeat. And we have, again, three different languages. I'm assuming that's to save money so they don't have to have different packaging for different markets. Um, I think it's a mistake. Looks like crap. Uh, this looks like a bowl of pink goo with like dry ice smoke coming off. I don't, I mean, that doesn't even look like what it's supposed to be, which is like water with color powder in it. So whatever that's, that it looks like the sludge in the Ghostbusters. And I just think it's ridiculous. Then you've got a tie-dye shirt, which good luck getting those results. Um, multicolored hair, good luck getting those results. And purple and pink messy combat boots. You might be able to get those results, but I doubt it. Uh, then over here it says, ooh, for you too, like put this stuff in your hair because, you know, I'm sure it's real healthy for your hair. We've got some bubbles up here in the corner and then like all the packaging is the same with like pink and gold um on the side you have the t-shirt or article of clothing scrunched up with a rubber band it says endless ways to design over here it says before and after it has this perfect tie-dye good luck once again before and after tie-dye so I don't think it's going to look like that. On the back, it says similar, you know, watercolor and create. I think it's interesting. They have it as two words here, water, color, and create. And on the front, they have it as um, one word, watercolor. 
So that I, you know, I am, I notice things like that and it's bugging me. Is it one color? Is it one word or is it two? Just, just asking. So yeah, we have watercolor and create, dip it or dab it for you too, and rinse and repeat. And uh, over here in this little text box, which is a massive text box for a four-year-old to, I just, whatever. It's your time to tie-dye, design your very own rainbow high doll again and again. And the, the text runs together so much that it almost looks like the whole thing is in another language because there's so much going on. Um, and then here you've got washable and this picture is better than the picture of the brown eyed one. Um, it looks a little bit better. The brown eyed one looks like absolute trash. This one is a little bit higher res, but the printing on the packaging, it has like a matte finish, which really kills like the resolution and like just, just the look of it. If they had at least done a gloss finish on this package, it would look a lot better. This has like some kind of a filter or something, a film. I don't know what it is, but it really dulls the look of the doll. Kills a lot of the color, kills a lot of the, it, it just looks, it looks like it's coming out of a third world to me. I don't know. It just doesn't look very good. That's all. And then on the side, you have the other two, color and create. Like I said, this one, I think this one looks like crap as far as like the photograph. Um, and this one too. I don't think the photographs look good. Um, yeah. But those are the other two dolls. I did not get this one. This outfit is atrocious. Those bangs are atrocious. I just don't know what they're doing. I don't know if they're looking to go towards the 80s. It does look very 80s, but not in a good way. So that's the packaging. Let's crack open the box and take a look at her on the inside. Okay, she's out of the box. I think she is adorable. Um, I am going, I forgot to mention this in the last video, but just a reminder, they do not have wrist articulation or thigh articulation. All we have is shoulder, elbows, knee, hip, neck, like that's it. It does tilt side to side at least, so we do have like the uh, double articulation in the neck um, and no stands, no more stands, oh, at least not for these color and create ones. So, uh, but I think she's cute. Her eyebrows are a little darker than I would have liked, but they're, they're okay. She's pretty. So let's take a look at her. She has white pigtails which are pretty long with the curls they go down to like her ankle and if you were to straighten it, it would probably go down to the ground mm -hmm. so pretty long hair um just light curls a little bit of product really not bad actually almost almost zero product at least in mine um she's got a center part and on the front, you've got curls and a braid on each side, which starts up here and goes all the way down through the braids and comes all the way down to the bottom of her hair. So I'm not sure what's the obsession with the braids. This release, we've got this one has a braid and the brown eyed one also has a braid. Lots of braids happening this go round, but that's okay. At least they did a pretty good job. It's just interesting. She has um, beautiful purple eyes. They're very purple. I'm trying to think if they're... I'm trying to see if they're the same as Ruby's. I think they are. They do look a little... I don't know. They look very purple to me. Let me just take a quick look at Ruby out of curiosity. They look the same to me. 
Maybe. I don't know. No, rubies have a lot more pink. These are like white with a hit of blue. I don't know. It could just be... Kind of, they look a little different, right? A little bit? Yeah. So, anyways, bright purple eyes, which are beautiful. She has a little bit of eyeliner. Um, thankfully, not too much. And some eyelashes along the bottom. She does have two-tone um, eyeshadow. She has a little bit of a light brown on the bottom. And a faint, like, peachy, almost a red that it's peach eyeshadow on the top and some eyeliner that comes out like a cat's eye um got eyelashes of course and then some straight eyebrows that are a medium to dark brown just want to compare this one doesn't have yeah this one didn't have eyeshadow on the bottom of her eye and the purple eyed one does so so that's a different um a little bit of difference and she has rosy pink cheeks, just a little hit. Her eyes are, or her, sorry, her lips are pretty pink, like a bubblegum pink. Actually, it looks a lot pinker in my camera than it does in real life. It's more natural looking um, in real life with a nice gloss. I think it's a nice natural color, like somewhat natural. It's not overdone. Um... Yeah, I think she has a beautiful face mold. I think she's pretty. I really do think she's beautiful. She has pierced ears, but no earrings. And for her shirt, she has this white hoodie with little drawstrings. They are functional, which is nice. We've lost some details, so it's good that we still have that. Typical rainbow high hoodie where it has the... Um, the Velcro mock hoodie and Velcro on the back of the shirt. And on the front of the sweatshirt, it has this little checkerboard, swirly checkerboard pattern. And it says Rainbow High. That's like, a, sorry, if you can hear the cars racing down the road outside, I apologize. <clears throat> Somebody lives around here that loves to soup their um, cars up and then speed down the road for hours at a time. So it almost looks like it's a yellow though. So I kind of wonder if it's like, does it glow in the dark? I don't know. I don't know why mine, you see how it looks like it's like spaghetti stains on her shirt. <laughs> I mean, it's not, but it, the rainbow high lettering is definitely yellowed compared to the rest of it. So that's interesting. If it's not glow in the dark, then it just has a weird color. It's a nice soft sweatshirt fabric. Sorry. Um, the only thing I don't really love is these huge bell sleeves. Like I don't understand that, but she's got some pretty big bell sleeves on the sweatshirt and she has this pleated I call it like a tennis skirt because that's what it reminds me of. Only longer. She's got this longer, like almost knee length pleated skirt. It does have a lining underneath it. And it's just pleated all the way around and Velcro's in the back. So don't really love the outfit. I like the hoodie other than these big sleeves. Don't really like the skirt, but what can you do? As for the shoes, she has two pairs of um, like boots and tennis shoes. So here we have a set of combat boots with platforms on them. Pretty plain, they've got ties in the front. And, and then just, yeah, platform heels. Pretty basic other than that. And let's see if I can stand her up. Probably not because her shoes are not flat. Boy, I wish they came with stands. What will her name be? Hmm, let's think. 
Who knows? It bugs me they don't give them names. I want them to have names. So, okay, I guess we'll just sit her down. Stay there. Now she doesn't bend very easily. There. Okay, this is everything inside, which I have. I'm going to bust this open for the tennis shoes. And one second, and I'll show you what the shoes look like. Okay, her second set of shoes are basically another set of combat boots, but they're more tennis shoe styles. They got little lightning bolts on the side. Laces, lightning bolts, rainbow on the back. And that's it for her shoes. So you get two pairs of shoes. Here's her second shirt. They all come with the same second shirt. This rainbow high at at atelier. I don't know how to say that. It means workshop. That's all I know. But I someone tell me how to pronounce it. Okay. Uh, so yeah, you get this T-shirt. You have her. If I can pick it up. Her white comb. Typical rainbow high comb. This is one of the tools for. I guess for tie dyeing, you're supposed to like wad it all up and then dab, dab, dab with the color. This is like a sponge, like a makeup sponge. And it's pretty soft. You can remove it. And there's a second one that you get for probably like your pinks, reds, yellows, and your greens, blues, and purples. So you have. <clears throat> more than one for those different color and then you got a brush on the other side which is a pretty decent brush pretty soft and it says RH in gold on the tip there is this glitter spoon slash stir device this side is definitely like a little stir wand or maybe it's just a handle. And then there you have a spoon. I don't really know what you would need a spoon for because these are shakers. So how are you going to measure from a shaker? Like you can't measure from a shaker. Um, let's see. So yeah, if you need to measure, I don't know how you're going to, I don't know how you're going to do that. Like, no. I guess a little purple glitter I mean shakers are just a horrible way to dispense stuff if you're measuring though y'all know that so let's see if we can put this back in kind of so yeah these little color shakers are square plastic in every color of the rainbow, even orange, even though they excluded poppy. They say rainbow on the front and back. They have this like, almost like a Lego. Only the top is raised with RH. And that's it. And then they all have the little shaker. So yeah, you've got every color, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. I got to check and see if the, I mean, the red's kind of a pinky red. So hopefully it's more pink because we all want more pink in our life. So, and you have this little square rainbow high plastic bowl. And this little measuring cup, which is 25 milliliter and has a pour spout. And here's your second sponge. Uh, 
And I think that's everything. Oh, no, I lied. And then you have this um, bag of rubber bands for, I guess, tying up the t-shirts so you can tie-dye. So that's, that's nice that they include those so that if you truly do want to, you know, tie up the shirts and try to tie-dye them that you have the rubber bands because not everybody has rubber bands hanging around so that's great and stencils which are too big for their clothes but you i guess i mean you could use them on like their skirts but it's not going to fit on their shirts it's too big you could use it on their hair i guess or your hair if you're brave but you've got a heart stencil a star stencil and a lightning bolt stencil and then i guess you just take your little stamping device and bloop 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 i guess that's the plan so yeah that my friends is it so i think this one is probably oh, i don't know I like both of them. I don't know if I have a favorite between this and the brown eyed one. They're both really pretty. Let me know in the comments if you are planning on getting these. Um, I will probably, like I said, do a separate video to see if the watercolor actually does create a tie dye pattern, if that's possible, what the results look like. Um, if any of you have tried it, I would love to hear from you in the comments. And yeah. Let me know if you have a favorite, if you've already purchased them. If you're not going to purchase them, I am a little interested to see how well these are selling. I would love to see more Rainbow High, but I would also love to see no more Color and Create. If this is the last Color and Create release, I would be happy with that. I'm so over the Color and Create. The only thing I like about it is the white hair is versatile. But hey, just release more Rainbow High with white hair, okay? Uh, these are pretty boring. Their clothes are awful. The lack of articulation is a disappointment. The lack of stands is a disappointment. The gimmick sucks. And the price is unbelievably high for one doll. I mean, we used to pay that price for a doll and two outfits. And, and like much, I mean, I paid the same for this as I paid for like Sunny and you know look what we got with that the quality was better you got two full outfits two pairs of shoes everything was colored like you know how easy it is to make everything when it's just white and you don't have to like color in any details like that's it should be cheaper it should be a lot cheaper and it's not no stands like it's just really disappointing no articulation like I'm so over it so Yes, I still buy them. Um, I don't know how much longer I will buy them, but I'm, I'm, you know, staying loyal for now. So I would love to hear if you guys are still sticking around. Um, and if you're looking forward to the new releases for the Moonbows in a few months and the Winter Wonderland, whatever those snow ones are coming out in the winter, they look cute. Um, there's going to be, let's see, a Bella, a Sunny, a Violet, and a Skylar. And they have like some kind of like expanding snow gimmick and it like goes in their clothes and it makes their clothes like puffy. So whatever. I'm so over the gimmicks. I just like, I don't know, give us two pairs of outfits that are quality. We are over the gimmicks. Thanks Rainbow High. All right. Well, hope you guys had a good day. Hope you enjoyed being here. I appreciate you being here. Please remember to like and subscribe. I appreciate your time. I appreciate your comments. I appreciate you being here and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.